everybody, my name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Oh my goodness. Do you know what this is turning into? It is Wednesday and it is turning into me working on Sweaters Day. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't, that's not a good ring. Whip Wednesday at Spend to Ride and Done. I don't know. But anyway, I'm working on a sweater. I, uh, I still in awe that I started the sweater. I, I'm, I get that I bought the pattern. I get that. But I'm in awe that I didn't just read it and go, okay, that's cool. It's really nice. It's pretty. And I have lots of dreams and everything. And I'd like to make it and then just leave it alone. Right. Cause that's, that's how I normally work. Um, but, uh, no, I started it. I swatched it. I mean, is my swatch right here? I did. I swatched it. Right. This is my little swatch. Yeah. I'm a little swatch. It's not the exact yarn I'm using. I'm making this. It's called Flourish. Look how pretty that is. You've got all the yarn, the lace, and the movement, and it's gorgeous. And then, oh my gosh, this is so outside of my wheel well. It is 100%. It is not my normal to just purchase a $10 pattern the day that I see it. Normally it has to talk to me for a while and then I might do it because let's face it, I have a lot of patterns. You probably do too. I have no intention of making the majority of them. I collect them. I like to look at them. I mean, that's just how that works. And then I was at my local yarn store and and the uh, the yarn store owner was really highlighting this stuff. And I'm like, I mean, it matches beautiful with what I have on. But that and a ball, I mean, I wouldn't normally go for it. I mean, let's just face it. I just wouldn't. Now, the Malabrigo, on the other hand, uh, yes, please, right? That's stunning. I mean, they're both, you know, and then putting these together to do a sweater. I'm like, I could do that. And uh, size 10 knitting needles. So I'm off to the races. I did my swatch, right? And I'm like, good enough. It's good. It's good. It's good enough. It worked. It worked. It'll be fine. The pattern's only written in one size uh, for somebody... I found it very humorous that says about 150 pounds and about five foot um, five. Yeah, I'm a considerable amount more than 150 pounds and I'm 5'8", but whatever, we'll make it work. I got skills, I got talents, right? I could do it. So I started it with these yarns, all kinds of happy, right? And then I reached a, oh, tangle in my yarn, tangle in my yarn. I reached for what I consider a massive milestone. This, drop my little ball, this is my second hank of the Malabrigo yarn. I have three of them. I bought three, three of these, and I bought three of these. So obviously these two aren't wound yet, right? So this is my second hank. These are 440 yards of fingering weight. Um, merino, is it merino wool? It's wool. Superwash merino wool, I think. Uh, fingering 100 yep 100 percent superwash merino wool 440 yards so i've already gone through a full hank and now i'm started the second one now in the lace the lace has 514 yards so this is my first one of the lace that's a label tucked inside but that is my first one of the lace you can see how much i have left so that is quite the milestone i'm like oh my gosh i am now on my second hang i had to go visit the yarn store i to right to wind it I know I have a I have a ball winder and swift that's not the point don't that's details that's details so I did and oh you want to see my progress yeah I've been busy oh my gosh I have been such a busy bee so not only have I reached the milestone of finishing a full ball Hank what Ever you want to call it it's a cake form of the Malabrigo 440 yards finger weight I have made it to the underarms that's right. My next round, I will be splitting this off for the front and the back. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? And I have to say, for a very complicated looking, chaos looking sweater, I mean, look at all that. It, this color is so hard to get a picture of. I've got a couple pictures I tried to, but my camera wants to wash it out and make it gray. It's not gray. You know, I gotta have it back here for you can kind of see it. If I get any closer, it looks gray. It's not gray. It matches quite well with what I have on. So this laying it flat, I haven't blocked it as you can tell. It's about that 16 inches to the underarm. Okay. And laying it flat, it's about 22 inches wide. So 21, 22, just like it was saying, a 42 inch chest and what have you. I'm gonna make it work. That's okay. It's got a lot of stretch to it because it is that lace. So, you know, if it needs to stretch in parts, 
it can stretch in parts. It'll be fine. It'd be just fine. So this is where I am. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. So I don't know. Is this a pattern? Is this a habit? This is now the second month in a row that I am just going gangbusters on a sweater. Because last month, June, I finished my Kaylee sweater, right? This was out of the Myrtle yarn and I made it mint green and I'll post a picture. But um, yeah, so I finished this one and it, because look, look at the lace. Look at the lace. That's, they called to me. That lace right there. I mean, oh my gosh, right there. I had to do it. I had to. It just, I had to do it. So it called to me. I did it. Um, what size needles and everything was this? This was a worsted weight. I used five, five balls of yarn. This one was a worsted weight on size sevens. Okay, cool. Well, the one I'm working on now, all right, is the fingering strand and then this lace weight um, fuzzy. Look at that. Look at that. You see that? That is a lace weight, fuzzy alpaca wool nylon blend. That is what that is. So I've got those two stranded together throughout using those size 10 needles. And the pattern calls for three strands of fingering weight. Okay, whatever. Or, you know, it, it equals around an Aran weight. Well, generally a lace weight and a fingering isn't going to be that Aran, but because that is such a fuzzy, fuzzy lace weight it fills in the spaces nicely so it works right you know if you had like a true fine lace weight it might not i don't know i haven't tried it but this is where i'm at and when i stand up well you can't tell but that's isn't that gonna be cool look at that there is no lace shaping or lace shaping there is no waist shaping on this it is just that it is a box it is 100 percent just a box going down uh now I'll be breaking off for the underarms and this pattern is broken out into charts, which a lot of patterns are. You know, that's, you know, this whole pattern is just written out charts and it's, it's not a hard thing, but it's definitely not a beginner pattern. So if you've not done sweaters before or um, you need uh, more instruction in hand holding, this is definitely not your pattern. But if you've made sweaters before, you can do this. You, you can. There, there's a little bit you got to interpret, but you can do it. You definitely can. And it's a lot easier than what it looks because this looks really chaotic, complicated. And it's not really bad. It really isn't. So each of the pattern repeats is 34 stitches. Okay. And you do it six times around. That's how the pattern is written six times around. So you do that. And then um, after 22 rounds, it changes the the graph because it's it's offsetting those stitches, right? That's what it's doing. It's offsetting that pattern design and everything. So you go through four sets of graphs and they take up half a page each. Not because they're tiny, tiny, but it's expanded to where you just print it off and it, it's the size you need to see it. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. So you go through four of the graphs. I have gone through four of the graphs. Yay! That's why I'm at the underarms. So once I do that, then I'll be working back and forth. And that's where it's going to get more complicated because every round on this has a uh, knit two together or not necessarily every, but a lot of the rounds have the knit two together. That's how you're doing those shaping. So when you're doing that on your right side round, it's a knit two together. When you're going on the back side, it's purl two th together through the back loop. I think that's what it is. And then it'll give you that same view and visual on your front side. Pretty sure that's what it is. I don't know. But um, the pattern doesn't describe that and detail that out. So it just assumes you already know how to read a graph and everything and go back and forth and and how to mirror those stitches and make it correct on the right side so right now i've been able to just look at it and just go the way that it states now once i go over the back and forth because that's where i'm at i'm on that back and forth it's exciting i'm gonna have to do those reverse stitches and it's not hard but purl two through to purling two together through the back loop it's a little fiddly. I'm not going to lie. It's not as bad as doing nups. I'm just saying, but it is a little fiddly. Okay. But there you go. I'm not sure yet if my cable rounds, because the cables, you don't have a lot of cables in here, but the ones that they do have are very well placed and they're a six stitch cable. You know, you're either holding three in the front or three in the back, depending on, you know, where the, the cable's leaning. No big deal. So I'm hoping that the cable rounds on that next 44 rows, you know, that are going to be going up from the underarm to the neck. I'm hoping that those 
are on the right hand side and I don't have to manipulate and do those on the back side. I mean, I'll do it, but I'm hoping that they're definitely on the right side. So the pattern has it 88 rounds right here is 88 rounds. Now I have 44 rounds from the underarm to the neck, 44 from there to there. And then I don't remember how many it is for, um, I think it's 44, but yeah. And then I'm not sure how many it is for the neck. You know, you bind off so many for the neck and then you're just going around in circles for the tube portion. Okay, whatever. I can do that. And then there's the sleeves. Yeah, then there's the sleeves. So my hope is I will continue on with this momentum. And uh, this has been, you know, two weeks now. Holy cow. And I am to the underarm of this gorgeous lace and cabled and moved and designed. And it feels amazing sweater. This is all kinds of luxury. I know it's the heat of the summer and I'm making a really warm sweater. Whatever. I mean, I saw it. I told you this is completely out of what I would normally pick. This is definitely the colors my husband would pick for me. Now, which is kind of funny when I'm wearing this shirt. I did pick this shirt out but it's one that he definitely enjoys. And this was me going out of my zone, so to speak, the nice summery colors and what have you, and um, trying to look through his eyes and what he would see me in. So he was happy that I got this yarn. He was also surprised that I got this yarn, that I picked this out for me. And I am still completely and totally gobsmacked. I picked this out and I'm just, I, I'm still looking at this just in like awe of like, are you kidding me? This is what I picked? Are you kidding me? But I'm not going to lie. It works amazing. It looks fabulous as a run. I mean, you could use this by itself too. You don't have to use it as a running yarn, right? But as a running yarn with my pattern, what I'm doing, it's stunning. And I would not generally pick this at all not at all the yarn store owner is the one that uh, brought it up and she's like hey this stuff is great and I'm like it don't look great she's like no no it's wonderful it feels great and everything I'm like well yeah I'll give you that it feels nice but she's like oh no it works up great in the projects and it looks really pretty and here you want to try it out and I'm like yeah no I don't I don't think so that's that no I don't like that well um I told you this whole sweater is outside of my normal uh, zone. It really is. I mean, this is gorgeous. We, we, we know Malabrigo has some stunning colors, but I mean, really? I, you know, now I would expect me to go like that color right there, or, you know, if I wanted to do stuff, it would be the rust. This one is caramel, right? This is Malabrigo also, the caramel, or this is the ultimate sock. This is Oro, right? You know, doing something like that. This makes total sense to me this is my color pal or even one of the maroons or something you know like um this look at that I mean that is and this is a Malabrigo also and I don't know what color this one is I don't really want to take the tag out but I will I'll take the tag out okay this is a vamp okay so this is also a Malabrigo and it's called vamp and it's just this deep gorgeous burgundy red so I could see any of these right it looks like fall colors right this totally 100% makes sense for me to pick out a sweater for it really does I mean that's just hello these are stunning and they match my hair it's so pretty you know wouldn't this be gorgeous and even with that lace stuff right you know even even with this not this color there's other colors I definitely wouldn't do that together but this lacy stuff this this angora not angora what it feels it looks like an angora to me right but this alpaca and wool and nylon to add that strength you know that fuzzy I could see because there were other colors that with this I could see you know these um the part that just even now now that I'm you know up to the underarms I'm still in awe I I just I'm I'm in awe of the color I'm stunned I picked out the yarn I'm beyond amazed I'm still doing it I mean let's I mean it's a gorgeous sweater that's not what I'm getting at but let's face it other things come along right you know and you go squirrel and if it's a yarn you're not used to or it's not a color that you're not used to because a lot of times your project that you're working on you can go faster if it's something that you're like wow I can't wait to the next color I can't wait to the next repeat I can't wait to the whatever it is but there's something about what you picked out that just has you on fire and this is such an unusual yarn choice for me um I'm surprised I picked it I'm surprised I started the sweater 
I'm really surprised that now two weeks in a row, I have gotten a significant amount done and I'm at the underarms. I, I just, everything about this garment is like, who are you and what have you done with Shannon? I mean, where, what have you done with her? Because this is not her, right? Um, so the test will be the sleeves, you know? So if I do gangbusters on the sleeves also, you can start questioning if there's a doppelganger and who are you watching? I just, I'm going to throw that out there. You can start questioning because everything about this is not my norm at all. Talk about just jumping out and trying something new. Not only that, with this, and I, I am talking about, I just dropped my earrings. I am talking about these colors, right? You know, the colors that you expect. Oh, there's another one. Whatever, I dropped the other one. But the colors you expect from me. They've got, for this Alpaca Yarn Company, they have watercolors in this. And they do have a watercolor that would go stunning with this, with my hair and everything like that. And the craziest thing is this stuff that I'm surprised I'm even touching because this is not my norm. I'm looking at going, oh, I could, I could use this other color. I mean, I thought it was pretty before. I mean, the colors are pretty, but I'm like, what do you do with that? I mean, look at that, right? Now I'm over here going, I, I, I could, I could add it to, yeah, that would be pretty. I mean, this whole thing is just like, I'm in awe. I'm in shock and I'm in awe. And like, who are you and what have you done with Shannon? Because I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. This is, this is not normal. But I'm going to continue. And uh, like I said, the bets will be on the laying on the bets or whatever you want to call it is when I get to the sleeves. Uh, we'll see how fast that is. I don't know. I mean, this two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. I mean, what? I, I, I made June a whole sweater in June and now now I'm, I'm like trying my best to do a July if not the beginning of August right you know I'm like it's not like I'll be wearing it right now it's freaking hot but holy cow wow anyway I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go I am just absolutely in awe and amazed tell me down below what are the things that you have done that are just like who are you and what have you done with me because that's what this is I just that's this whole project to me is shocking it is just that's I do some weird things I do I I'll make things or whatever just to make them I do some weird things but this one this is out of character for me now the pattern itself is stunning right but the fact I'm actually doing it that's another story anyway I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go with that. And you guys can ponder what you think is going on. Because, you know, I'm like, if I didn't know any better, I think I was kidnapped and replaced. I'm just going to throw that one out there. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. You guys have a great day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. And I will talk to you again later. Bye-bye.